Yo, what's poppin'? Welcome to Broman Brapsody. This is where we review cars and motorcycles, do unboxings, all of that fun stuff. I'm the host for your motorcycles and the punk dust, the cars. Today we are at Indian Motorcycle Greensboro with guess who? This is my sensei, Monty Hendricks. How are you, man? It's been a while. How Absolutely. you doing? Absolutely, good to see you. See a box. What is it, Monty? This is a brand new 2022 Indian Motorcycle FTR Rally Edition. So we are very excited excited about this bike. Actually, it's going to be my demo, personal demo bike for probably the next uh, eight to 10 months and uh, really, really fired up about it. So I am excited. Congratulations so thank much. You. And thank you for letting us well, do absolutely. it. Absolutely. So without further ado, I think let's just get into it. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So I'm just going to unzip the end here. Huh. So underneath the main cover, we have another cover. Correct, and this is how um, Indian Motorcycle ships their bikes. Uh, it isn't a traditional reusable crate, but they do double wrap the bikes. So what'll happen is um, this basically is a in, uh, dust cover that's around the bike. It's got a bottom, four sides, and top and front and back. And then of course, there's the heavy cover over the top during shipping. So what happened is I'm actually going to disappear to the other side for just a minute to unzip from the bottom, and I'll, you'll see me reappear yep. in just a moment. And there she is in all her glory. All her glory, that's exactly right. So, Roman, some things about the FTR Rally Edition. Um, the FTR Rally Edition and the base model FTR are similar, um, I would say they're really like sister bikes, in the fact that this particular model, it's a little more old school, it's a little bit more simple, it has a traditional gauges, whereas your um, S model and your carbon model is gonna have your uh, small ride, ride command ride screen, command screen okay? Yeah. But where the rally is a little different is starting out with the shoes, okay? Uh -huh. So this has the Pirelli Scorpion rally style tires, uh -huh. all right? So the thing to know about these is they have these big chunks that are very off-road style, but this is street friendly. So this is not gonna be as, as stiff a ride as maybe if it was a pure off-road tire, gotcha, okay? Gotcha. But it has that tread design. So what it does is from the, from the um, shoes up, from the tires up, it's gonna give the opportunity to get hit the gravel, with confidence, mm -hmm. uh, dirt trails with confidence, uh, maybe even some, some shallow streams and so forth. So, you know, you're not gonna take this out and do motocross with it, but if you were on some local adventures, it would you definitely fit the bill, okay? Well, and that kind of makes sense because this bike is inspired by the flat track racing motorcycles of India. Yes, itself. yes. I believe that the rally definitely typifies that DNA and uh -huh. what was behind the whole impetus for developing this street legal FTR, you know, flat track racing style bike. It does have the aviator style seat, which uh, is a comfort style seat, and it will also help you sit up just a little bit higher. Now, along those same lines, um, the handlebars are in a little bit more of a raised position. They're, they're a rally style handlebar, which is raised about two inches over what you would see on the base FTR. That's basically so that if you are, if you go off the pavement and you have a reason to stand up in the, up in the uh, pegs, so you that can. you're in a full yeah. upright position. You don't want to be in that standing position when you're hitting these hard bumps and be leaning down and hard to, yeah. on, short, on short bars. Because so, if you're trying to do that, you might grab onto your brake, give it more gas. Correct. None of that is what you want to do when you don't have traction. Absolutely. And the manufacturer has hit the nail on the head with the balance on these machines. And the last thing you want to do is the human that's on it is to throw the balance out of whack. Uh -huh. So when you stand up, you're fine. If you're sitting down, you're fine. And again, that seat brings you up just a little bit to give you a little bit different perspective on the road. Some styling things that are really cool about the rally version. Um, this titanium style paint with the uh, ghosted out war bonnet and then the red knockout around it. It's a really dynamic look. Um, as you can imagine, this type of paint is not going to show dirt. So that's definitely for somebody that's looking to get on this bike and use it to its full potential. I think that's going to be a great selling point for them. And we've covered this, this paint quality of Indian motorcycles when we did the Scout 60, the Challenger, the Chieftain, yes. all of the bikes, right? This matte 
this matte finish, this matte color is beautiful. And uh, we really tip our hat to Polaris Industries uh, where they are in the, right now with their paint. They've invested a lot of money in new, new paint booths over the last few years. They learned a lot through their Victory brand and then in the early goings of, of the Indian brand. And that is an area that we're very proud of was with the paint because it just kept getting better and better and the finishes getting better and better too. So, and then of course uh, with this to do some, some highlights that kind of accent that, the Rally model also has the very small windshield. Um, of course, that's not going to stop wind from really in, in, your, in your face or your head, but it is going to help knock a little bit off the chest. It also, again, is that kind of rally-inspired look. Uh -huh. So, and you'll see... LED headlamps up front, so... Yes. Pat, um, those look like the Pathfinders that we have on our other bikes. Maybe it's different. Very, very similar, yes. The same style and um, going to have that same type of quality LED uh, lighting, which you want because that's, again, helping you command the control of the road. So you'll also see, too, that it has the bo little bob front fender. This is critical also um, on this bike because let's say you did go through a small stream or you know you hit some mud holes and things like that. A lot of this just to help keep that mud and debris off of you and the rest of the bike. That's going to help. Um, and you can also see that if you come down and look at that front wheel, those are laced wheels, which is a popular combination um, setup for folks that do like to spend some time on gravel or dirt. Uh -huh. The laced wheel is, is typically what you would see. And then you can also see, even on this lightweight bike, we have dual front calipers backed up by ABS, supported by the Brembo braking system. Uh, so this sucker can are... go and it can stop. <laughs> well, you need it because you got to remember, you're sitting on a, on a bike that's uh, below 500 pounds, that's popping straight from the factory out of the box, 120 horsepower, 87 foot pounds of torque. When you got a bike that really can go, you want to be sure it really can stop. Absolutely. And that's yes. critical. And, and I will tell you. all the places that you mentioned you're taking this bike, yay. Well, absolutely. And I love motorcycles and I love off-road as well. I love to go off-roading in uh, my 4x4. And of course, a lot of people don't realize that uh, I also own World Class Power Sports of High Point, which is a Polaris off-road dealership. So we specialize in machines that get in the dirt there. For me, this is this bike, you know, I think it's going to have a really special place in my heart because it's kind of where all my worlds will, will kind of merge. Kind so, of you know, this one may be, this one may stay a little longer beyond the normal demo period, or it may get replaced with a, a twin brother or something uh, nine or 10 months down the road. Nothing wrong with that. Absolutely. Another, the other cool thing is just the versatility because you will notice it is already set up for two up riding. Uh -huh. So that's a, that's a plus. I mean, certainly this per person that's going to be here is not going to be uh, the same experience that they would have on the back of one of our full dressed Roadmasters. But still, to hop on the back and take off and around town, it, it's there and it's, it comes straight from the factory that way. Um, you can see on this on the suspension system how with uh, a basic tool you can adjust the preload. Very exciting. Uh, this does have the standard location for the license plate that we do have license plate relocation kits that can bring that up. I personally will probably leave that right where it is for now. See, and it even has a little carbon fiber looking insert here. Correct. How cool is that? It is, and you also see something similar on the inserts here, uh, both around the cooling system, yeah. as well as up here and around the front fender. Front fender, yep. Liquid cool engine again. So you could go off-road, doesn't matter what, if it's a hot day or whatever, your, your engine's gonna be cool, you're gonna be cool. Absolutely. And check out this finish of these headers, the exhaust header pipes, man. Oh, well, it's really bronze, cool. Bronze finish. Too. It's got this industrial look and feel to it, but at the same time, you know that you're looking at a quality uh, piece of machinery. And that's critical. I mean, that can be done. And uh, India Motorcycle has proven that. So I think it's, again, I think we've got a, a home run here. And I think that for anybody that really has been trying to find a bike that almost fits that that adventure bike idea, but they want something a little bit smaller, more manageable package. This is it, man. I mean, this is this is it. And I will tell you this, that the standard style bike has making a comeback. And one of the reasons is because it is versatile. All right, it is versatile. So, and even on this bike, yes, it's set up as a rally. Someone might buy this that also picks up a set of mag wheels with uh, more pure performance tires on them. Mm. And, uh, but for me, I'm excited about this is a bike that I could literally take to uh, VIR, take it around the track. Yeah. From there, I could go hit the tail of the dragon. 
on the way home, I could stop by the drag strip, make a couple pulls, yeah. and then uh, from there go on a camping trip and hit some trails, uh, sleeping bag, tent, and rock and roll. I mean, you know, that's, and, and let me say, and it still looked good doing it. Oh, I'm sure. How much can someone expect to pay for a toy like this? Sure, so uh, insanely, the price on this is outrageously good. You're looking at thirteen nine nine nine, uh, so just under fourteen grand is the MSRP. You know, of course, you'd have your taxes and fees on top of that. Um, but when we talk about dollar amount and you factor in value, and you're like, well, what am I getting for that? Blank uh, the the block, value, right? yeah, the value proposition for this bike is off the chart. I mean, I just, I, I just dollar for dollar, I feel like this may be one of the best values in. Uh, in the motorcycle industry right now. And certainly someone might hit me up and say, Monty, you know, I can throw out some, cer certain, uh, uh, certain, you know, metric bike or a Japanese competitor that's something similar that's, that's a little softer price point. But when you really break down the spec sheet, I think you will find that even if you found something similar in that 10, 11, $12,000 range, that if you did the upgrades, you're gonna be well beyond what you've got sitting right here. So straight from the factory, it's rock and roll. And let me tell you, it's so versatile because while this is the quote unquote gas tank, these are actually covers, okay? The actual gas in this bad boy is down on, under the seat. So this is to give it the traditional look. These are easily removable and you can change them out. So okay. Indian Motorcycle has some really cool replacements. Some of them have a tie dyed look and some really over the top stuff. Or if you just wanna be, you know, total, total sleeper bike, you can order them just straight matte black, you know, uh. no, nothing on them, no branding, nothing. Um, so again, that's kind of something neat. It's, it's like a, the transformer of motorcycles. Mm. And if you really are wanting to hit the, hit the road for a while, we do have the saddlebag kit available. We do have the tank bag kit available. You can go with the taller windshield. Really, again, you can take this thing in any direction you want to go. And I have to compliment again, Indian Motorcycle, because the, the uh, factory branded accessories, man, they're plug and play. They are. I mean, they bolt on, they, they fit right. And uh, you know, a lot of times if you're dealing with aftermarket accessories, you may spend more time trying to get the thing to fit the, uh, whatever it is. I mean, I use a windshield, for example, you know, uh, it, 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 nobody wants to buy a windshield. It takes three hours to get the thing to fit. So that's a very important thing to keep in mind. Also do have a luggage rack that's available. Oh, it's, okay. um, it's a new item. It comes out, I think later this month. Okay. Uh, in September here of, of uh, 2021. And of course, when, once you've got that on there with some straps. You're good to go. You're good to go. And you'll also notice that the bikes, uh, Indian Motorcycle Company no longer ships the bikes with the uh, batteries in the bike. Just to give some background on that for those of you that are maybe previous owners or current owners, the reason they've gotten away from that, we really don't want to start the life on that battery until, until it arrives. So once the bikes come in, the batteries are removed from the crate, they're se sitting separate and they're put on the charger and then at that point we prep the bike ready for the showroom. You'll see also that there's no mirrors on the bike. Mm -hmm. The mirrors on the FTR usually sit about here obviously because you want to be able to see a uh, clear view especially if you're in a standing position right. Um, and then also while we're on this side of the bike I mentioned do notice one thing that's a little bit different about the FTR from the rest of our lineup it is chain driven, ah. all right? Whereas the rest of our lineup is belt driven. Belt driven. This is the only bike that's chain driven. It's the only belt bike that's, that's uh, chain driven, but again, because of all the different purposes that the FTR can fulfill for a buyer, the manufacturer felt like the chain drive was the way to go, and I think they're correct. Uh, and of course, with the chain, you wanna keep it in adjustment, keep it properly lubed, and especially if you're spending any time with this bike off-road. Yeah. You know, that's gonna, you're, they're gonna get a little extra tension to the chain. Um, and all that mud and debris that is gonna suck up as well. Yes, absolutely. So clean, so. clean your chains as well. Get a, get like a rear stand, like a paddock stand. Yes. Pop it up, use a chain cleaner, wax it. And keep and on keeping on. Yeah. yeah. That's the thing. People going to get the most life out of their machine that maintain it. Yeah. And that's just the facts. I mean, a lot, when we see it, we're, we're very fortunate as a dealer. I would say 97% of our customers really go out of their way to properly maintain their machines. When we get a machine in that hasn't been properly maintained, um, it, it can be a little bit of a sting to the customer on their pocketbook because of the things that they've let slide that should have been handled as they went along. I also want to mention to any of your viewers that may have um, 
been an early adopter and came out and checked out the FTR when it first came out as a 2019 model. Now remember, this is actually a 2022 model here. I will say that uh, last year, the company decided to do something that I think a lot of dealers, um, ourselves included, has suggested, which was, hey, the FTR is an amazing bike. Let's see if we can't lower the stance on it just mm. a little bit. It was very high in the seat, and of course, um, we know that they, they did that because they wanted to be able to hit certain lean angles and so forth, yeah. but it did make it a little difficult for some customers. They felt like they were too much on their tippy toes, especially customers that maybe had been traditional customers of ours that had been used to being more in a cruiser and were maybe now thinking to go back to something more standard. And the more recent models, they have lowered the stance just a little bit. The lean angles are still amazing these things still carve canyons like nobody's business mm -hmm. but it fits a little bit more of a broad range of customer oh perfect i'm planning to transport this not just on a traditional trailer but i will probably also get a hitch trailer that that's a heavy duty hitch trailer that this bike can just pull onto the back of the vehicle oh, wow. almost more like a dirt bike because at this weight under 500 pounds there are certainly uh, products out there and so I don't have to tote the whole trailer with me I can just bring this right on the hitch trailer and rock and roll yeah, good to go yeah. yeah if it's somewhere that I'm going where I still want to have the 4x4 four four with me and again because this is going to factor in for me for a lot of personal adventures over the next year um, some of those adventures will involve this some will in involve the 4x4 four 4x4 four. Four four. so we will just rock and roll that way you know I'm a, I'm a country boy man I gotta, <laughs> I'm gonna get out there and get dirty hey nothing wrong with that do you want to take the straps off or yeah we sure can so what we'll do on that is um, we just need do to have we, someone we sitting on it and we can take the straps off and then the actual process on this is we would drop the back end of, actually pull this off and then we'd roll it back, roll and it out. back yeah. so we could do that um, we'll bring up if you want to pause it we'll bring up a helper awesome thank you, got you. It, man yeah. What are the other steps that go in setting this bike up? Yeah, absolutely. And I think that um, a lot of consumers probably believe, hey, these, these bad boys roll in just ready to rock and roll. And really that's, that's not true for any brand. And different, different manufacturers have different crating systems. As you can see, uh, Polaris Industries that owns the Indian motorcycle brand is very concerned about cosmetics and so forth. That's why they double wrap everything. But once the bike comes in, like I said, the battery is going to be on a charger for probably about 24 hours. Um, battery will be put in, the mirrors will be put on. Um, at that point, it will be road tested. Okay, so we'll road test it, we'll put a little gas in it here, we'll road test it, then we'll fill it up with gas, complete, com uh, complete uh, the second part of the road test. It'll come back and then at that point it's going to go through a North Carolina safety inspection. Uh, so there's a lot, a lot of steps involved. Uh, there's a, you know, usually at least two or three eyeballs go on one, and then the bike is brought up to the showroom. At that point, even on the showroom floor, about once a week, at least in our dealership, all the bikes are put through a trickle charge to help maintain the battery. So we have a, a multi-station multi uh, trickle charger where we can do around uh, a dozen bikes at a time. And of course, with this bike being a liquid cool bike, there's a lot that's gonna be checked. The technician's gonna go over it uh, from the get and make sure that the chain is in specs. He's gonna make sure that it did ship with the proper um, coolant levels, oil levels, and so forth, as well as uh, you, you can see right here, the quick view for the brake fluid. So they're gonna check all of those things. Never had anything come from the factory that did not have, that wasn't at specs on its fluids, but it's still part of our checklist and something that we go over. In fact, um, we when we're PDIing it or prepping it, um, we actually, with uh, the Indian Motorcycle uh, Company, we have in our online portal, each bike has to go through and go through its dozens and dozens of checkpoints. And each of those has to be checked off by the technician, so. So it's not just you roll it off and you hop no. on it and pop wheelies. No, there's a lot of work that goes by. It, it really is. I mean, to be honest with you, by the time it hits the showroom floor, there's usually been around three to three and a half hours worth of time invested it just in prepping the bike. This bike is beautiful. I am so happy for you. 
Monty, you're going to have so much fun with it. I believe so. Yeah. Oh, can you tell our viewers a little bit about Indian Motorcycles Greensboro? Oh, absolutely. Indian Motorcycle Greensboro, uh, I, I founded the uh, dealership in uh, actually May of 2014. We've been working with the Indian Motorcycle Company since the latter part of 2013. Really makes us one of the oldest Indian Motorcycle dealers under Polaris Industries mm -hmm. in actually in the world. Uh, there's a couple, few, a handful of dealers out there that have been around a little bit longer, but they're few and far between. And um, you know, it's a passion for us. Uh, and, and being part of the Polaris family is a passion for us. That's why also later in 2017, I got involved with Polaris in, on their off-road off uh, product side. So we're very, very excited to be a, a dealer with Polaris. I think Polaris has done an amazing job in their guidance and ownership of the Indian motorcycle brand. Uh, they give a lot of autonomy to that side of the manufacturing. And uh, something that we've been extra proud of is the fact that Polaris has thrown a lot of money, time, and engineering behind racing. Mm -hmm. And so we were we were a little sad when the Victory uh, motorcycle brand ceased production because we were real supporters of their drag race team. Now we have King of the Baggers and we also have the flat track racing. Hopefully, fingers crossed, they'll maybe at some point in the future come back to drag racing. But I've always a big proponent that in anything automotive, whether it's power sports, motorcycles, or cars, uh, that a lot of technology and learning can be gained from racing. Absolutely. And you know, if a, if a company does what they're supposed to, that information is going to find its way back to the street. Back to a, and that's that's better. That's awesome for guys like us, the consumers. We get some of the race-inspired technology on our motorcycles. Absolutely. And you guys are also a gold certified. Uh, dealership technicians Correct. and dealership yeah, uh, that's service ex dealership. That's exactly right. We're gold gold certified. Uh, I think that uh, I'm one of the few, if not, you know, maybe, maybe I don't know that I'm the only, but I'm one of the few actual dealership owners that's a gold certified technician as well. Um, now you won't often see me back in the back. <laughs> if I back there, my guys are going to run me out. But I did that training because I want to be able to better communicate with my staff. Yeah. I want to be able to better communicate with our technicians at uh, corporate and. Um, I just felt like it was, as an owner, it was something for me that really would, would put me in the mix a little better. And uh, it's, been, it's been great. It's been, it was a great learning for me. Awesome. Well, I'll put their website link in the video description below. They're located in downtown Greensboro. The staff here is super awesome, super friendly. We've seen Monty, you've seen Isa in my videos. So there's some of the, their other staff members here as well. They're all friendly, all welcoming. You're part of a family here. Right. Then don't get Isa and I confused. He's also bald, but he's only this big. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> sure. Uh, and if you come down here, just tell them the bro man sent you and they'll take care of you. <laughs> yeah, thank you, bro man. We appreciate thank you. Thank you so much, sir. You got it, buddy. And at some point of time in the near future, whenever he's put on a few thousand miles on it, we'll do a little review on the 2022 Indian FTR rally. Absolutely. Wow. And I hope by that time I've had a couple of adventures I can share with you as well. Absolutely. We can do that video about your adventures and all of those fun stuff. You know it. Well, thank you, Monty. Thank you, Indian Motorcycles. Thank you, Indian Motorcycle Greensboro. And thank you to our viewers. I'll see you soon, bro out. Mm -hmm.